Are you ready for this hit cardio 30 minute workout? We have body weight exercises, we have a hit cardio circuit. So what is in this whole workout? Warm up, three round circuit interval training, 12 minutes total. In that, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, body weight, hit cardio style. I'm gonna go over those right before we get to that mini circuit there, and then after that, we finish it up with a floor set on the ground. Let's get that warm started. So body weight, whole workout, 10 squats. As I always say, let's start it up, but I always say with your warm up, just getting those juices going, getting that blood pumping. Five, they don't have to be incredibly deep squats. Eight, nine, and 10. Also with a warm up, assessing, assessing your body. How do you feel? Do you need to do maybe a couple more squats, a couple more hip hinges during the warm up to get ready for everything we have in this? Hip hinges are next. So feet hip width apart. From there, bracing that torso. I'm gonna say to start off, put your hands in your ears and you're hinging from your hips. I have soft knees. I feel my hamstrings. I feel my glutes. I feel that low back load and I come straight up and I brace. 10 total with these. Oh yeah. And one more. There we go. Key factors, if this is a first time doing those exercises, think soft knees and hinging. Fold from the hips, push the butt back, because you want to feel all that musculature on the back side tightening. You want to feel it working, and we want to strengthen it. On the ground for the next one. One of my favorite exercises that we're gonna actually do in the warm-up, bare leg extension. Just like a bird dog, if you've done those before, we're gonna go on all fours with the knees bent, and I'm gonna alternate extending my leg, glute, hamstrings, all those items while I brace the torso. Five each side, hands underneath your shoulders. Look how my knees are underneath my hips. I'm gonna elevate up, push from my toes up. I'm gonna extend out. Nice, purpose, full extension. Hold it for about a second. Three. Three, four, four, five, and five. Woo. Great exercise, and even better during your warm up. To the top here. Squats, second round. Here's where you can go a little bit deeper, a little more intense with your squats, but still just prepping. 10 total. Let's start it up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, and ten. Hip hinges. Ten again. If this if it's still a new movement for you, take it slow. No need to go as deep as forward with your body, racing the torso, protecting the spine. Really key, feet hip with apart. Hands up, hinge it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh yeah, on the ground. Bare leg extensions, same keys as we worked on before. Bracing, extending, extend that leg with a purpose. Let's rock it, five each side. Up. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, Oh yeah, okay. At this time, what are you doing? Get your water, get a towel. I would say that's, those are two things you need for this workout. Get your workout space ready. 
follow along here as I'm gonna go through each exercise and the cues. Because once we start that circuit, this three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest, we don't stop. We crank that baby out and we give it our best effort. Okay, cross jacks are the first one. Think starting out wide. Now I'm gonna crisscross with my hands and my feet. If this is your first time doing those, just work on the basics. Next round, work on mixing it up a little bit, okay? With your feet crossing, leaving your hands. So out, forward, backwards. Top, bottom, top, bottom. What I would say is balls to the feet. Still, any type of jumping exercise that we do in this workout, we're light on the toes. We're making sure that we're not landing with so much force. Light on the toes, as I always say, like a ninja. Light on the toes, okay? After that, skiers. Think an over-exaggerated skier. If in your mind, you ski, or maybe you watch ski, and you're like, that's not how you ski. Okay, but the image in your head, the video in your head, what does it look like? Hands by the side, I want you to over-exaggerate. <sighs> Lateral hop, and I'm taking my hands, like I have those poles, and I'm bracing into it. I'm absorbing the force and I'm jumping side to side. If you don't have that or you get tired, still I want the arm action. I want that lateral movement. I want you using those legs to bend into that squat there, okay? After that, high knee runs. Find your space. But also, if you just do them in place, all good, okay? So I have my little bit of space here. I'm gonna high knee run forward, high knee run backwards, okay? Use the arms, forward, and back, okay? Whatever your space might be, that's gonna dictate how forward, how back you're going. Work with what you got, elevating that heart rate. That's what we want. Last one, power slams. Think that you got a ball in your hand? I'm gonna come up on my toes, and I'm gonna slam it through. Up. Slam it through, okay? Absorb. Working on deceleration in your own space without anything, okay? T minus 20 seconds here. Let's get ready. I love these workouts, time to train. As a matter of fact, this one is for my buddy Lou. T minus 10 here. New parent, limit on time. He wants to work efficiently. Five seconds here. Let's work it here. Cross jacks. Two, one, rock it. Feel that music. You give me what you, what you got. Stay with me. Oh, I feel like this is a great song. Come on. Let's go, time to train. Come on. I want it here. I want that whole 40 to start. I'm setting the tone. I'm setting the tone for this whole workout here. I'm saying, I got this. <sighs> Boom. Whew. Calves are gonna feel that one. As I say, when I do these, high fives around. Give me those high fives. Skiers. Exaggerated. Rocket. Absorb. Light on the toes. Lateral hop. I might be doing too much with those arms there. Or maybe I want to go side and I want to throw my hips in a little bit more. I've never skied. I'm more of a snowboarder myself. So I'm just over exaggerating what I see on TV. Come on. Boom. Ooh. What do we say? High fives. Five. High knee runs, rock it. If this is all you have in your space, all good. 
Just try to get those knees up. But if you have that space, use it. It could be small. Maybe this is all I have. That's okay. That added element of the brain is great. slams. <sighs> Rocket. Reach toes. Follow through. Toes. Follow through. <sighs> Heart slam. <sighs> so basic, but a great exercise. This one alone. If you are an athlete of any type, you'd be surprised what this workout, this exercise could do for you. Oftentimes, breather, we train Acceleration, quick movements, side to side. But decelerating, teaching your body how to absorb forces and move out of them, just as important. To the top, cross jacks, rock it. If you get tired on this one, I don't want you to stop. Maybe you're just here, that's okay. You're catching your breath, stay in focus, pick that time, you're like, okay, I'm gonna go two seconds here, boom. A little active recovery right in the middle there. That works. I love these crossing ones for the brain movement. Boom. Always, always use your brain in your exercises. You want to keep them strong. You might think, oh, that's so small. I just like to go through my exercises. Brain power. Two, one, rock it. If you're on that second round and you're wondering, remember, I said lateral steps and still skiing with the arms and the legs. The hips, they're moving too. You see how I'm squatting down? Might be a half squat, might be a quarter squat. Keep going, keep going. Remember, you pick that time in your head. Like, okay, 10 seconds here, boom. I'm ready. Skiing. There it is. Woo. These ones. Always get that heart rate going, the sweat. Starting to fall everywhere. High knee runs. Two, one. If this high knee movement is too much or you get tired, put those hands out, drive them up. Try to get on the balls of the feet there. Still working the calves, still working on very small but dynamic movement. And then you pick your spot. Then we go. I'm not gonna lie. I'm worried about backing into my wall there. Time. Power slams. You might be asking, okay, how do I modify my power slam if I need to? That squat level, two, one, let's rock. Could be, could vary depending on where you are, your own 
it's in this level. So, all you have is right here, a little quarter squat action. That's all good. You're showing up. You're working. You're keeping that heart rate elevated. And then you come back. And I go, wow, I can go half. I can do a full deep squat together, coordinated with my hands, my upper body. That is success right there. Boom. That's dedication. Last round. I'm feeling it. Cross jacks. Two. Boom. Show me what you got. Lock it in. Mentally. Done with the intervals. 
Now we have reps and sets. Three rounds. Push up to pike, crunch, hold. I'm gonna show all these once we get on the ground. Toes up, crunches, body weight, Russian twists. All body weight. But we have reps, and we got three rounds, three sets of this, okay? Meet me on the ground. With this one, if you're doing modified push-ups, all good, stick with it. You try your best on the pike. So push-up, solid push-up, pike those hips up, 10 total. What does that look like? I set myself up, I come up, good push-up position, and I push my hips up, and I push my torso towards my legs. Is it gonna be the best pike? No. The feet are not positioned as close as they should to feel a really deep stretch on the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back, and even the shoulders, the backs of the shoulders. But it's just a little combo movement, okay? We're still holding that tension. 10 total, let's rock it. If you're on the modified, do your push up, come up, pike it, rock it. At your own pace. Work it. Okay. If you're still working on them, finish them out. Finish your 10 total. Gotta make sure I don't get sweat in my microphone. Going into my mouth. On your back. Six crunch holds. What I'm gonna do, I want you to imagine you have a scale underneath your shoulder blades. And my chest and my head, they're locked as one. I'm gonna unweight that scale. I'm gonna hold it for about two solid seconds and then I'm gonna come back down. Hands will be across your chest. On the ears, either one's fine. Unweight it, come back down. So you're bracing, holding that, and you're coming back down. Six total. One more. That might have been seven. Okay, same thing. If you're still working on it, keep going. Toes up crunches, 12 of them. Feet up, hands under, can be up above your chest. I'm gonna reach 12 times. Small movement, try your best. Reach for those toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Whew. Okay. Body weight, Russian twist. I teach a Russian twist a little different than what you might be used to. Go with me on the cues, okay? So what I want, heels digging into the ground. From there, knees bent. I'm gonna work on really keeping my, my torso up. What you don't want is this hunched over position here. I want chest up, bracing my torso, and I reach as I can each side. 12 each side. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, 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 ten. Finish those out. That's one round there. Okay. We do those that way because I want you to really work on that brace. Gravity our posture, all things and different weaknesses in our torso, we're gonna want around it. It's more comfortable. We work on our good posture. We work on bracing our abdominals, low back, our rectors, and 
we add in that element of we're changing where that force is with just our hands, okay? One round down. Two more to go. Let's keep that same fire. We know what we gotta do now. We know each exercise. We know the cues. Let's roll through them. Push up with the pike at your own pace. I'll be the most quiet way ever. <laughs> it's because of the microphone going into my mouth. Crunch holds on your back. Boom. Six total. Unweight that scale. Solid two. Back down. Simple, but effective. Toes up crunches, 12 total. My opinion, hardest one right here. Body weight, Russian twist. Good cues. Work it. coming up here. At this point, last round, last exercises. Keep the fire, but also we remember when we started this, it was a tough, tough hit cardio workout session there. Strength training, 30 minutes, boom. We work hard. We we'll keep showing up. We we'll make those plans. Come on. Last round. 10 push up, pikes. Time to 
the drain. We started this together. We finish it together. That beat's coming. Let's finish it on the beat. It's building. You ready? Hands together, feet down, chest up. Rock. Working if you're finishing that out. Great job, time to train. Keep showing up, keep working out, keep pressing play, and I'll see you in the next one.